Stealing high-voltage cables is risky business, and some have even died doing it. But WASA CEO Kelvin Romain believes the thieves who hit this WASA booster station in Teak Village Sapari on Wednesday night knew exactly what they were doing. It has to be a, a planned event. It is well orchestrated because, um, you know, you would have to have an idea of the, 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 the condition, the situation, the infrastructure here before you could actually proceed to, to steal anything. The thieves first toppled this electricity pole with the 1,200 kilovolt cables. Romine says they then punched a hole in this wall. They cut the Tiantec pole, cut the supply. When, when they cut the pole, the, the pole would have fallen and um, the supply would have been cut. So they, they proceeded to take that high voltage cable and they would have gotten access through behind you. You would see a hole in the wall. They would have um, created a hole in the wall to gain access to to retrieve the cable. With WASA and TNTech losing millions of dollars from cable theft, Romain says it's time to put a ban on the exportation of copper. It is a national issue that we, we definitely have to deal with. We, it came home to WASA and um, we, we, we wanted to dealt with it. Uh, we could only do what we could do, but it's a national issue. I mean, just driving up here alone, I would have seen some cables cut. I mean, a lot of cables. He says the authority will install CCTV cameras and boost the security to prevent further acts of sabotage. Water supplies to 40,000 customers from Pinal, Faisabad and Saparia will be restored within 48 hours. Radhika De Silva, CNC3 News.